So there's a scourge of sexual violence in the military. And despite the promises of every Secretary of Defense since Dick Cheney that there's zero tolerance of sexual assault, the last estimated number of cases was 20,000. And among those 20,000, only approximately 250 ended in conviction. And our solution is one that's been recommended by military experts, by survivors, and supported by veterans organizations. And the solution is to remove all serious crimes from the hands of the commanders and give the decision about whether a crime's been committed to a trained military prosecutor. So racial disparities in the military justice system. And it's not surprising. If you look at the higher ranks, uh, the most senior members of our military are largely white and largely male. As a consequence, there's bias, and the bias is against female service members that report sexual assault and against black and brown service members who are accused of any crime. And so we believe to create justice for everyone, one justice system is to draw a bright line at serious crimes you can carve out military, uniquely military crimes like going AWOL and the commander can retain those. But anything that has more than a year sentence should be given to trained military prosecutors for both plaintiff's rights and defendant's rights. Germany, Australia, Netherlands, Canada, all of them have taken all serious crimes out of the chain of command. And their record is very helpful. They've written letters to Congress and to a number of our panels saying that they saw no diminution of good order and discipline and no diminution of command control with that change. They said in some instances, commanders barely noticed it. And I guess the last answer to this issue is that it's gonna affect very few commanders. These are the senators who are gonna vote yes with us. I think the fact that we have 66 co-sponsors in the Senate is extremely meaningful. To have 20 Republicans support this reform along with almost every Democrat is significant. So I'd like to have an up or down floor vote because then at least every senator can be heard on this issue. And frankly, this is an issue the committee has been looking at for eight years. Uh, I think they've lost their exclusive purview over this issue because they failed to actually solve the problem. We've passed almost 250 other smaller reforms and none of them have dented the problem. And it's not surprising because all of them were supported by the military.